Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use a program called What Can I Do With This Major? So first we would like to go to the Miracosta homepage um, and then we can look at academics and go down to career services. Once we reach the career center, we can go over here to resources for students because this is a tool that we use to help students explore. Now, once we have gotten to the Explore tab, we can go ahead and hit Career Exploration Resources. And please don't worry, we will go ahead and put this in the, um, the link to this in our um, YouTube channel. So the program today that we're going to focus on is called, What Can I Do With This Major? So as you see, we have a page for Career Exploration Resources and career exploration is basically when you are trying to figure out what it is that you would like to pursue as a major or a career goal. Um, and with that comes a lot of confusion for students. So this is a tool that we use here as career counselors and that we also train and provide students with as well. So the first thing we would want to do is go ahead and select the what can I do with this major. So once you launch it from that page, you will receive this program. Um, unfortunately, you have to launch it from the career um, page. So as you can see, this program is called What Can I Do With This Major? So um, you can read here that What Can I Do With This Major features nearly 100 majors and profiles with information on common career paths, types of employers, so that hire in the field and strategies to maximize opportunities. So there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, you can either find your field um, or your career choice um, in one of these drop downs. So this is you know a new feature. So for business, we have all the areas of business, communication, education, engineering health and wellness, language, culture and humanities, law and justice, science, and social science. But with this new field, um, this new feature, we actually have um, things alphabetized, which makes it really, really nice. Um, and with that, I am going to go ahead and pick a field. I think this time I will pick sociology. So I select sociology and then it takes me to this page. And so it tells me right here that I am on the page for sociology. And it tells you that sociology is the study of society and human social behavior through the lens of groups, institutions, religion, family, gender, race, and other identities. Coursework includes research methods, psychology, cl classes about society, history, and other social science courses. Now, you see here that it has different areas, right? So these are different areas that they're going to um, have information on, but all pertaining to the sociology major, okay? So general sociology, these are common career paths. Um, so higher education research, education K through 12, research, advocacy, organizing, social statistics, program analysis, demography, public administration, policy analysis, program development, and you can kind of see the rest, right? So this is kind of what can I do if I'm in general sociology kind of area? And then it breaks it down and says, okay, well, if I am in general sociology, who will employ me? And so you see that um, right here, it says federal government, and then it has some government um, Bureau of, Statist of Justice Statistics, um, U.S. Census Bureau, and so forth. Um, so it has a lot of different areas. But this is a really good part. It tells you kind of the strategies to get there. So 
that sometimes is missing a lot, right? We do our schoolwork, we take our classes, and then uh, sometimes we're kind of left kind of wondering, now what? And so this really does a great job. If you're um, interested in just the general sociology field, again, what can I do? Who can employ me? And the strategies to get there. Um, then there's environmental sociology. Again, this program works exactly the same way. Um, what can I do in environmental sociology? So soil and water conservation, land use, recreation and community planning, um, and so forth. So all of this, again, is what can I do? Now, where can I get a job? Waste management firms, health agencies, and so forth. So what can I do? Who can employ me? And how do I get there? in environmental sociology. It also does the same thing for globalization and political economy. What can I do? Who, who will employ me? And the strategy to get there. Same for critical race. What can I do? Who can employ me strategies? And the exact same thing for criminology and criminal justice, right? So as you can see with some areas, they have more information um, than others. But again, if you're going into the field of sociology, these are things to kind of help you think outside of the box, right? And so this is a great tool for that. And so here is, a, it's called getting started and advancing in major. However, this is kind of the strategy for sociology as a whole. So um, this is a really, really great tool to get information to try to figure out um, where, you know, what exactly it is that you need to do to kind of progress in this field. Now that we have kind of went over um, the way that the information is laid out for us to kind of explore, down here, these are some live links that the program um, provides. So there are professional associations, and so American Sociological Association resources for students, and so this is kind of has information um, for, again, if you're a student, some of these professional associations cost, but if you're a student, some of them are free. And so again, these are people that are associations that are interested in the same type of things you are. And so this is always great to join if they're free. Um, if they cost, you might want to go ahead and kind of wait. Um, but again, they offer professional associations for all the majors that are um, in this program, they also provide re related resources where you can see that the federal agencies that collect, collect demographic statistics. Um, let's check them out. So if you're interested in that, um, look at this, Bureau of Justice Statistics, Labor Statistics. It's just a lot of great information um, for students as you're trying to navigate, is this for me or not? Um, occupational Outlook is um, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics website. And so the way this works is, um, so I just clicked counselor. So what it comes up with is school and career counselors and advisors. Um, the median pay in 2021, um, the um, level of education a one needs, um, the number of jobs in 2021, and the, and the job outlook for 2021 to 2031. So basically, um, these jobs are growing faster than average. And then um, they're expected to employment change from 2021 to um, 2031 is 32,400. Um, if you don't know exactly what a school counselor, school and career counselors do and advisors, they have a little bit of information regarding that. So again, you can kind of look at what do they do the work environment, and so forth. Um, if, if they don't have what you want, um, you can always type here um, the career field that you're interested in and the, um, they will provide you the information. So I just click the first one. Um, I always tell students it's interesting because here we are in California, if you're in California here at Maricosta, um, I, there's a, uh, there's other websites that you can even dive deeper into regarding the wages in, in California. Um, and that helps as well, right? Because that, um, that money is across the U.S. and that's kind of an average 
um, so that it can look different. And then some students are actually um, interested in employment opportunities. And as many of us know, we're not exactly ready to work, but we might still want to see what um, is out there as far as employment in the fields that I'm looking into. So again, it says social service jobs. Um, so again, there's just some, um, just some information to help you with employment um, while you're doing this whole exploration component.